this is the big office. This is where the top brass are for the Australian Department of Defence. The Australian Signals Directorate. Yeah. So they look after satellite surveillance. Now that's part of what's called the Echelon Network, which is part of the Yakuza, which came out of the BRUSA agreement during the Second World War. And the way it was developed, and it's good to have this space here, is that um, when you think of basic maths, what was happening was they were using aeroplanes, high altitude planes, to go and spy on Soviet Russia in the 50s. And one of their planes got shot down, a U-2 plane got shot down, and they started thinking, there's got to be a more efficient way of doing this. And so they, two blokes got together, and Simon Rabo, I think his name was, and Dean Woolrich, and formed the Rabo Woolrich Corporation. And what they figured out was with this new satellite technology, they could have satellites going around the globe, keeping eyes on everybody. That's in the early 60s, yeah, late 50s, early 60s. And when you think about it, here's where the basic maths comes in. You've got a globe, and to monitor a whole thing of a globe, you need at least three spaces down on that globe that the satellites can come down to as they're moving around the world. Now, their first place is obviously in North America. That's granted. Their second place has got to be in Europe, to the east of Western Europe, you know, Central Europe, I guess you call it now. And they were putting bases in through Germany. And that's why the wall and the division of Germany into two parts was so important, because they needed to control those stations at places in Bavaria, like Bad Abley. And the third place had to be equidistant from both those two places in the Southern Hemisphere. I wonder where that is, Jacob. That puts you in Australia. Might be a pine gap nearby. Isn't yeah, it? there might be a pine gap nearby. And it's that pine gap because this technology was, you know, just been introduced. The other way they used to monitor technologies was by ships doing the coast and submarines doing the coast. So they're in it somewhere equidistant from the United States, from Germany, from West Germany, in the Southern Hemisphere. That puts your smack bag in the middle of Australia and as far away from the coast as possible and that puts your bag in the middle of Pine Gap. Now, what these satellite systems do, there are hundreds of satellites now, hundreds of them circling the globe at all times. And the communications coming out of that is run through the defence, apart from the Americans, at Pine Gap, the Australian side of it, is run through the Defence Signals Directorate. Um, DSD now become ASD. And that's why we're here today, because when we're talking about surveillance, when we're talking about all the communications, and not just surveillance communication, when we're talking about knowing where things are for targeting purposes, when you hear this bullshit about surgical strikes on wedding parties and hospitals, it's these kind of people who are controlling the satellites and analysing the satellite data who are given the information that are killing people. And we're here in the the heart, the belly of the beast of the Department of Defence today, we have this here, this eagle on a stick, which was a gift to the Australian people huh, from the United States government. What a hideous thing. I'd like to tell them where to stick it, quite frankly. And as a sign of Australian and American military friendship and cooperation. Probably an apt place to talk about the Australian-American military alliance. And that started way before World War II, way before World War I. That started in 1903. In the lead up to what we became known as the War to Wendor Wars, um, the Germans were building shipbuilding in the Baltic. The English Navy was worried they were bringing all their ships back to home port in Western Europe. What happened then? The Brits signed the Sino Peace Treaty. And people were worried. The racist Australians were saying, geez, you know, we're being left out of here. We no longer being protected by Mother England. At the same time, the Americans had the Great White Fleet going to do their first circumnavigation of the globe. And so Deacon, our Prime Minister, invited them into the ports of Australia. OK, and we, they came into Melbourne, they did the East Coast, they went across the top, and everywhere they went, we provided them with entertainments, we provided them with fairs, festival, we encouraged our women to go out and date a Yankee sailor. We did everything we could for him, we bent over backwards. Sixty years later, we found out that Admiral Sperry, 
who was the commander, the admiral of the Great White Fleet, was holding secret plans. And while we were watering them, while we were entertaining the troops, they had a whole unit of the Great White Fleet whose whole job was to analyse how easy it was to invade Australia on behalf of the United States government. So for more than a hundred years, we've had this special relationship where we've watered them, we've fed them and we've fucked them while they've been planning to turn around and give us one from behind. And that is what this place, that is what that eagle on a stick is about today. Yeah. So give them a big shout out. Boo! Boo! Boo!